Hi there and welcome back to CNC Modeler. Today we're looking at my new design for the bed bearings on the large Polar 3D printer. So uh, hopefully you guys have seen some of my stuff before. If you do like it, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up and hit the notification bell and you'll hear about my new stuff. So what have we been doing? Well, um, for the last several months I've been trying to correct some problems I've been having. Uh, so the printer was running and uh, it was working fine. So printed circles fairly easy it calibrated properly everything's reasonably accurate to within the tolerances I can uh, make uh, measure to anyway um, so I uh, the mark one bearing was a lazy Susan bearing from the sort of thing you put on the middle of the table uh, you can just see it in the middle there and uh, just straight driven off, a, uh, off a, the 20 NEMA 23 step motor um, and then uh, obviously uh, managed to get it uh, working well enough to be able to print squares on a rotating uh, polar printer that's always quite a well a bit mesmerizing to watch I lost plenty of time with tuning and tweaking on this and just staring at it for well not hours but plenty of time so between uh, actually having the problem and uh, cracking on I went to the TCT show down at Birmingham NEC and the Duet 3D guys that um, I'm, whose board I'm using actually put some footage of my machine on their stand so I was really appreciative of that so where did we get to well this is the problem that I had uh, the bearing went and as you can see that's not a nice clean print anymore that's pretty gnarly and the surface finish was never that great but it proved the concept so the bearing was always a bit sloppy um, but Basically, I knew that it was going to work, so I invested some more money in some better bearings, and this is the result. So, uh, as you can see, the surface finish is very nice. Um, it's uh, working well. I'm now on a geared arrangement because the bed and the bearing and everything and the, the new gear is very heavy now. I've uh, also had quite a few questions about how I align the, um, the bed with the print nozzle, so uh, I use a laser bore sight from a rifle and that seems to work really well so there you go um, thanks very much for watching uh, I hope you've enjoyed the content uh, I'm hoping to post more regularly over the next couple of months so uh, thanks very much for watching uh, please subscribe and like the videos and uh, have a look at some of my other stuff so thanks very much for watching I'll see you again next time cheers